This is Ben with vkashaaudio.com. In this video, I'll show you how to load and use sound fonts in the Ardor Digital Audio Workstation. Click on the link in the video description, which will take you to an article that contains links to free sound fonts for download. To start off, we want to open the Ardor Digital Audio Workstation. You can open a blank session, but I have a mock-up that I've done here as an example. Right-click anywhere in this area, which will bring up the Add Track dialog box. We want to select Audio plus MIDI tracks. It'll display a warning that says this is for use with VST or LV, uh, LVA, LV2 instruments. We'll click OK. And for instrument, we want to select Fluid Synth. Fluid Synth will allow us to play back SF2 uh, sound font files. For configuration, we'll select Stereo, and we'll click Add and Close. So our track has been created. We need to route our MIDI keyboard to it, so you can right-click, select Inputs, select Other, and I'll route my Akai Max 49 to my track. Now we want to select the sound font to use. We'll double-click the Fluid Synth instance, and I'm going to shut off the reverb and chorus, and we'll select our SF2 file. I'll navigate to my sound font collection, and we'll select Acquire. And I'll just play something to show that this works. It's as easy as that. Now, prior to this video, I prepared an orchestral mock-up, and I'm going to play it back to show you what you can achieve using sound fonts in Ardor. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, remember to like and subscribe, and visit bkashaaudio.com for more video tutorials.